Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery. In this video we are going to talk about SVGs and embroidery and applique. But first I wanted to explain to you guys exactly what an SVG is and what's the difference and why you want them. On this side, on the left hand side, we have a raster image. So a raster image would be like a JPEG, a PNG, G ones like that and this is a vector so this is an SVG now first of all I should say SVG stands for scalable vector graphic so scalable means scalable you can make it bigger or smaller so let's look at the vector one first so this is one time and this is four times bigger so the 1x nice sharp edges on it looks fantastic when you scale it up to four times as big you still have those lines those sharp lines and that is why we love svgs for embroidery so let's look over here when you do a, a jpeg or a png file which is you know very common for images file files it's easy to do now the one x well, it looks pretty good, not quite as good as the vector, but the problem begins is when you make it bigger because it is not scalable. It is not scalable. And this is the problem that you get into when you try to scale things. And this is why we want to use the SVGs. So let's zoom in on that uh, just a little bit. You can see right here the difference. Now, that's pretty good here, nice and sharp, pretty good. Now I'm really zoomed in here, so don't, uh, don't, I just wanted to show an exaggerated image. How are you gonna cut that out? How are you gonna do it? Even the small one is still blurry. Now these marks are big enough, you would have a jagged circle. So that is the reason right there, that is the reason why we want to use SVGs. So fit on screen, even that's better. That's why right here is why we want to use the SVGs. Now remember the picture that I'm using is actually a JPEG. So when we zoomed in, you can see everything got pixelated, even the vector one. So let's zoom out again because we weren't meant to do that. I think that uh, it looks better at the original size. So now, okay, that's the original size and it looks way better. So yes, when you zoom in on JPEGs, that is what you get. Everything's blurry, even a JPEG about an SVG. So SVG, Scalable Vector Graphic, and the big part is the S scalable and that is what we want okay i'm gonna start off in pe design because i have the whole suite and you'll find and i'm not saying that you have to get this but you will find that all of the the things are made to work perfectly together and it is a really nice addition so i've got pe design i've got mcdreamy which is the dream machine and i've got mcsteamy which is the brother scan and cut cutter so they're meant to work together now um in a previous video you can take just uh the design the embroidery design and bring it into the scan and cut and cut your svgs but if you don't want to do that if you're working it on working on your computer i'm going to show you guys how to do it and it's super easy now the first thing you have to do this is by the way the creative kiwi design that we are cutting the pieces for this is the eight by eight and this is the inner piece and this is the outer piece so what we want to do is cut both of these pieces now there's a scan and cut tab which again like i was talking about the convenience and you can go to export the problem is you haven't told the software what cutting lines you want so what it does and this is rather convenient as well what it does is it cuts around the outside because it doesn't recognize any other cut lines it's the same as on mcdreamy you have to tell 
the system where the cut lines are. So if you wanted to just cut the whole thing out, you can, you know, adjust it, you can do everything, and it's just going to only go around the outside of it. So you can save it as an F FCM file, which is the file that the Scan and Cut reads, or you can send it directly to Scan and Cut Canvas in a cloud. So, but that's not what we want to do. It's cool, you can do it for other things, but that's not what we want to do. What we do want to do is let the machine know what we want cut out. Can you cut this out, please, machine? And the way to do that is changing colors. So I've selected the inner ring because that's our first cut and we want to go to the brother embroidery and down here right on the right is the same thing that was on McDreamy so everything works nicely together. This is a picture of a heart and a cut. So this is our cut line and it changes the color to applique material. So awesome, that's one. And the second one will be here. Select it, yep, that's our second one. And we're gonna change it to brother embroidery again. And we're gonna go down here. So now we have our two cut lines. Now we'll be able to tell the system what we want at this point you can just either send the PES over to your machine and it'll read it it'll read these as cut points or we can do a little bit I like to neaten it up just a little bit what you want to do is select the whole thing it only takes a second to do select the whole thing and we're gonna go over here to stitches and we're gonna to convert to blocks and just leave it on normal and that's fine. So now it's all converted to blocks and what we wanna to do, to do is just to delete everything that we don't need. I like it all to be neat and tidy. So look, all you're left with is this circle. All right, so that's easy. So I just basically isolated it and uh, now we're going to do scan and cut and we're going to export and we're going to get to this screen and we want to create cutting line only around the outermost edge so we don't want any inflation on it or maybe just a tiny bit if you want you can see how far you are now you can save it as an fcm file which is the native file for it or you can send it to scan and cut ca canvas if you wanted to work on it a little bit more so we're going to do that and it's going okay scan and cut canvas into the cloud is it okay to send data to scan and cut i'm going to say no because i don't have my machine on but you can and that's how to quickly get it to your machine now when we open up scan and cut canvas we can see there it is it takes a few minutes to come in but if you keep going under my projects it'll show up and you can see i've been playing with it okay so now that we have all the brother stuff it's really easy with the brother scan and cut and with p design 10 let's work with the other software now i've got cricut open cricut design space and let's work with our SVG and I'll show you guys how to do it. So we are going to upload and we're going to upload image and browse and find it. And all you have to do is bring it in. So we can go ahead and do that. That's really easy. And it'll be down here. Make sure you get the right one. So let's just do this one inner frame, bring it in. And you see it here called inner frame. I think that's perfect. Save it. And there you go. So this is the eight by eight one that we've been working along. And by the way, this is still the Creative Kiwi design and have it selected. There's a green border on the outside and insert images. Now, the problem is this comes in, uh, it's an SVG, remember, so we can scale it, but it comes in at a weird size. So we have to make it the size, the exact size that we want. So all you have to do is pull it out to this one happens to be eight by four four Let's see if we're doing it right i think you can punch the numbers in which would probably be a whole lot easier so why don't we do that why don't we just make that a little bit better so i've got the numbers here eight point four four 
and it should equal out to be six. Yep, so that is just about right. Move that into position. So that's how easy it is to work with it as long as you have the SVG file. And then all you have to do is make it and it's just going to cut your fabric. We'll talk about the Cricut Ma Maker and cut this one out after. So let's move on to the last software, which is Silhouette. Okay, so now we are in Silhouette Studio and this is just the basic edition. I use the business edition because I use, I mostly use my Silhouette for business. So I just kind of keep it at that. It keeps all my blades sharp and works a little bit better. So the basic edition, I found a problem. I've never actually used it, uh, but it does not read SVG files. They are different kind of files. They don't read it. So apparently you have to have the design edition, edition or up to be able to read the SVG file. So there's a big question answered. Now you can, when you, have the proper edition. I don't have it on this computer. That all you have to do is file and import, import the design, and then send it to your cutter. So it's pretty easy as long as you, if you're having trouble reading them or you can't find them when you're in the software, it's because you need to uh, get a different edition to be able to read SVG files. That's how special SVG files are. So I hope this video has shed a little bit of light on SVG and hopefully you guys understand it a little bit more, what you can and can't do and why you want to do them and what is the easiest way of working with them. So I hope this helps you guys out. The next video we're going to be cutting on the Cricut. So we'll be working with that and then we're going to stitch everything out. I'm so excited for that part. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!